Today is finally the day that I get to go to San Diego, California for San Diego Comic-Con. I want to take you with me to see not only the convention, but also the way they really go all out in the city. Now, I will say, I won't be taking this mask because it's very hard to transport, and I'll be there for a week, so I want to go as light as possible. So let's go ahead and remove this thing. All right, back to the OG mask. I do think this is so much easier to transport and carry around while I'm in San Diego, but I want to take you along on the journey with me. So let's check it out. I landed in San Diego and it is in fact Tuesday, the day before the convention, but I want to show you downtown San Diego where they really wrap these buildings and decorate them beautifully, just kind of in theme with some of the sponsors and affiliates they have here at San Diego Comic-Con. The buildings that you see wrapped are right across the street from the convention center. So it's very convenient for all the con goers going in or out of the convention center to really just appreciate and look at the art that the city really took the time to put on these buildings. I will say one of the hidden ones was definitely this Ninja Turtles wrap on the back of this building right here. Because it's Tuesday, the day before preview night, I actually got to witness this building wrap still being wrapped. And there you can see the guy on the little lift where he's still working on this art. There was a small Ferris wheel across from the convention center as well, wrapped with some Marvel decorations along with this building. And I was beyond excited to see this Dragon Ball Daima wrap. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Now, if you're wondering, I did go inside the convention center and here's your sneak peek. Yeah, that's all you get because that's all I got. Then I went to the San Diego Zoo, really enjoyed myself. And I will definitely tell you this was the best zoo I had ever went to. I got to see some elephants. I saw a polar bear for I think the first time in my life. And this baby orangutan was having the time of his life. Now, I will say my favorite part of the zoo was this Sky Ferry, which is basically just a sky lift. But everything you're seeing, all the trees, all the bushes is, in fact, above the zoo. And you got a beautiful view of the San Diego skyline. Now, before calling it a day, I had to go get me some food and I heard about this Sonic Speed Cafe and decided to check it out. The moment you walk in, it was steamed to the T with everything Sonic. They had a wall with Sonic and all of his friends. And Shadow even got some love on this wall and another one. But you can tell with the rings in the air and everything, this was perfection. The next day. All right, so it is Wednesday and Wednesday means it's preview night. Finally, I really couldn't be any more excited. So I'm definitely going to take you along with me for the journey, show you the inside of the convention just a day early before it officially starts since it's preview night. But of course, it's that time. So let's check it out. I am finally here. San Diego Comic Con 2024. Let's go. So, you know, the first place I had to visit was Funkoville. This is Funko's very own city, town, whatever you want to call it. But they did have the pop yourself area where you could make yourself Deadpool and Wolverine themed. They had the Funko Fusion video game with the little booth on the side. Mondo had its own little section. And I think where everyone wanted to be was this little area where you buy the Funko exclusives for the convention. But Loungefly did catch my eye because of this nice little Spider-Man Loungefly backpack.
This Tomashi Nations booth was definitely my, man, I want to say my second favorite behind Funko, but it might have been my favorite booth just because of the variety of things they had, such as this Deadpool figure and then numerous across the Spider-Verse action figures as well, especially featuring majority of the main characters from the movie itself. And if you didn't know, I'm a big One Piece fan, but I really do love Luffy. So to see this many versions and expressions of Luffy that they really had to offer made me super excited and I just fell in love with this booth. Now, I gotta say, Dragon Ball is my all-time favorite anime and this Goku and Vegeta was a classic. Seeing the main Saiyans here in their Super Saiyan forms was awesome. Moving on to Super, but can we talk about these new Dragon Ball Daima action figures? Bro, I'm excited for this. Well, sadly, all good things do in fact have to come to an end. It was 9 p.m. in San Diego. They kicked out all of us con goers and said, see you tomorrow. But if you want to see more content over SDCC, let me know in the comments. <sighs> 
I am back at the hotel and I will let you know I had a great time at preview night. I didn't have the opportunity to do preview night last year. So that was a great experience for me. But I am going to reset and go back to the convention tomorrow morning. And as always, if you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm out of here.